Today on our 2017 GMC Terrain, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number E98865. That's what our hitch looks like when it's installed. It's going to allow you to safely tow your trailer down the road. It's also going to be great for any of those hitch mount accessories. This hitch is going to have a nice black powder coat finish that's going to help resist any rust or corrosion. You can see it fits very nicely uh, up underneath the bumper or behind the bumper fascia. This hitch is going to be a class 3 hitch. It's going to be 2 inch by 2 inch. Hitch pin hole is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to have plate style safety chain rings or loops. It's going to be welded to the bottom of the receiver tube and to the bottom of the cross tube. Gives you plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. Now as far as weight capacity with this hitch, you're going to have a 350 pound max tongue weight, which is the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube and a 3,500 pound max trailer weight, which is a trailer plus the load included. I do recommend checking the owner's manual of the terrain to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. I'm gonna pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. This hitch is rated for weight distribution. Tongue weight's gonna go up to 400 pounds. Trailer weight is gonna go up to 4,000 pounds. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mount accessories you may need, such as a bike rack, ball mount, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about three inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 14 and a quarter inches. Now let's show you how to get this installed. First thing we need to do to start our installation is we need to remove this panel right here on the bottom of our fascia. On the inside we're just going to push them in and pull down like that. Next thing you need to do is you need to determine these two holes whether you have weld nuts or not. If you have weld nuts, you're going to use a hex bolt conical tooth washer to hold your hitch in place. If you do not have weld nuts, you're going to be using two carriage bolts that look like this. What you need to do is you need to take this bolt, make sure it fits in the hole. If it does not fit in the hole, you need to widen that hole a little bit or open that hole up a little bit. Next, we're going to take our pull wire. You want to take your spring in we're going to go up through one of the holes, and we're going to go out the side. It's going to come out the end of the bumper beam. Next, you're going to take spacer block, carriage bolt, put them together like that, and then we're going to thread it onto the end of our pull wire. Now we'll take it and we'll just push it into the end of the bumper beam and pull it down through the hole. Now your kit's only going to come with one wire, so make sure you don't just pull it off because we're going to need to use it on the next one. Now we're going to do that same thing with this hole on the other side. The next thing we want to do is you can see our two weld nuts that are on the outside of our frame rails. Because they're open to the elements, you want to make sure you clean them out. Because we don't want our bolts to cross thread. So we're going to take some penetrating oil, spray it in there, wire brush. If you don't have one, you can find one on our website. Just like that. And then we're going to take one of our bolts. We're going to make sure that we can turn it in there by hand. Now with the next set of hands, we'll get our hitch into place. We're going to use a hex bolt, a conical tooth washer. We're going to make sure that the teeth are facing up toward the hitch or in toward the hitch. We're going to take this part of our hitch and it's going to go on the outside of our frame rail. We're going to line up our holes with our holes that we just cleaned out. We'll get one bolt in on each side to hold our hitch in place while we install our remaining hardware. And then to our, for our two bolts in the center, we're going to just have flange nuts. If you take your finger and push on the bolt, because it's going to be hard to get in there and get this to thread on it, push on the bolt, put a little tension on it, and that'll get it started. Next, we'll take a three-quarter inch socket and tighten all of our hardware. One thing to keep in mind, you may need an extension for the two in the center. Next, we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. That'll do it for a look at an installation on eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number E98865 on our 2017 GMC Terrain.